everybody. Welcome to this week's edition of Stream Brain Comics, and we are here. This is Shay. I am Katie. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise introductions. Yeah. And we are here to give you a tour of this week's new comics, shipping Wednesday, January 10th, 2018. And But first, we would like to tell you about our upcoming events. Mm -hmm. So this Saturday, January 13th, we're going to be having our open gaming, and we're going to be featuring not one, not one, not two, but three, three games, games this time. <laughs> the first one is going to be demoed by Shay. And it'll be Rick and Morty Anatomy Park, the board game. It's going to be a fun time, so come down and see me and play games with me. Yay! Yay! And then, of course, Lane will also be here um, showcasing Azul and Synthesis. Mm -hmm. Two games that I've seen but haven't played yet. I've heard a lot of really good things about Azul, so uh, come by and check it out. And again, if you're not interested in any of the demo games that we're doing, we have a whole bunch of other games that you can play. Mm -hmm. You can bring your own. It's a it's a super fun event to come on and play games with other game playing folks. Oh yeah, it's gonna be this Saturday from one to four. Also, I want to mention that the. Uh, Anime Fest that we talked about last week got postponed, so don't go down to the Senate Theater this weekend. I mean, you can, but don't go down there expecting to see uh, the Anime Fest. Uh, there was some unforeseen circumstances, and they had to postpone it, so we will keep you posted. As soon as they schedule a new date, we will let you know what that is, and we will be excited to help them promote that event again. So, and then later this month, don't forget about our Watchmen Book Club. We're going to be talking about the first third of the book, and that's going to be chapters one through four. Uh, it's going to be Wednesday, January 31st from 6 to 8. So come on down. Oh, and then the other event that we forgot to talk about last week is oh, the Geek, Geek Girl, Girl Brunch, brunch yes. which uh, Green Brain will be hosting another Geek Girl Brunch event, and that is going to be... Saturday, January 20th at 7, uh, doors open at 7, and uh, the, we're going to be doing a slumber party themed Riverdale viewing party, mm. and that is a Geek Girl Brunch event, so be sure to check out geekgirlbrunch.com for the details about the organization and to sign up as a member, uh, and then there's a Facebook event by Geek Girl Brunch Detroit also, so you can follow them as well. Um, Someone's checking in. Hello, uh, Hello Sharita, Sharita Jackson. Hello. Or, yeah. Sharita Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. i got to look through my, my old lady eyeglasses here. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be Saturday. So, if you are interested in checking that out, be sure to follow all the um, social media uh, updates on that to get all the deets. So, anything else coming up that we need to let people know about? I don't think so. So, you know what that means, guys? It's time for comics! <laughs> and because it's just me and Shay tonight, we lost our camera and he had some city business to take care of tonight. So, uh, we decided to switch things up and we're going to start on the other end of the building. And yes. we're going to be doing our indie titles first. And then moving on to the Marvel DC in the second half of the, uh, the cast. Mm -hmm. So, get, are you guys ready for new comics? Yay! <laughs> Let's do it. Let's see what's on the shelves. Ooh, that's dizzying. How do I switch it back? Yeah. Okay, so I guess we'll start with indie graphic novels. We have Limbo Lounge hardcover. This looks really cool. Kind of reminds me of like a Dave Cooper style a little bit. It does. And this book, I think, is part of the new Yo original graphic novels. Yes. Yeah. So for fans of Yo books. Um, put out by Top Shelf IDW. Oh, no. <laughs> um, and uh, it looks pretty cool. It's basically uh, people that have recently died that are waiting to go to heaven are in limbo oh. with people that bored people that went the other way that don't have anything to do except for harass the people that are waiting. Wow. From the description, that's what I got from it. It, uh, it sounded pretty cool. The art looks really fun. So check that out. Also... Fire Punch Volume 1. That's a cool looking manga. If you guys like One Punch Man, maybe you like Fire Punch. Ooh, it's explicit yeah. content. That means it's going to be over on our mature manga section. Yeah, it's uh, well, it's going to be on our new graphic novel shelf first. Um, in the long run, we do have a, a mature manga section. And I did get a chance to look through it. I think what uh, would be considered explicit is just the fact that uh, he's burning a lot of people. So there are a lot of, you know, burn people in there. <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> Fire. Yeah. Lots, lots of violence. But it's a good time. Good Fire time. and violence. Fire punch. 
fire pond. Uh -huh. Also, all these cool indie graphic novels. Oh, here's what's going to be weird. If we start from this end, we're in reverse alphabetical order. Oh, it's so backwards. So backwards. <laughs> but it's fun. It's fun to switch things up a little bit. Oh, Fire Punch. Yes, Fire Punch did get translated. Oh, post-apocalyptic and kind of really messed up. I definitely got that when I flipped through it. Thanks, Antonio, for the <laughs> uh, for the tips. Thanks. Okay, over on the indie shelf. We have Witchblade number two, The Wicked and the Divine, volume six, Gabriel Rodriguez, Sword of Ages, number two, Straight Bullets, number 31, Sunshine and Roses. Oh, uh, here's a pretty interesting book called Stabity Bunny. I'm not really sure what it's about yet. Uh, maybe like a... Hmm. <laughs> Is it a bunny that stabs people? Maybe. I, I do <laughs> think it's pretty dark though. And I, when I saw it, I was like, you know, we should probably get this in. Maybe somebody will enjoy, want something different. And why not, right? It's a... Sure. And you know, we've heard a little uh, feedback from customers, some interest from customers mm -hmm. about it as well. And also I learned that Scout Comics that puts it out said that this is their best pre-ordered number one ser number one of a series yet. I mean that the whole title right there. I mean I'm sign me up, Stabity Bunny, right? <laughs> yeah, Wicked and Divine. Heard nothing but good things. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know that it's ending soon. It's the, really good. the last story arc starts in March. Wow. Yeah, because it was just in the January catalog. Oh, yeah. And so, yeah, but you can always read it in the collected volumes as well. Like, they're already up to volume six. Hi, Henry. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> we also Oh, wait, did we do slots? Oh, oh, slots number four. Sleepless number two. I actually really enjoyed number one. Did you get a chance to read it? I have not, personally. Oh, it's really cool. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yes, yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm looking over something else. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a really interesting premise. I am curious to see where they take it. Oh, yes. It looks like it has a, it has a good setup. I agree. We also have Royal City by Jeff Lemire, number nine. Yay, Jeff Lemire. Jeff Lemire is doing like a bajillion books. Yes, he is. We have A Corey's War, number two, which is a hard case crime book. Port of Earth, number three. Pestilence, number six. Paradiso, number two. Look at that cover. What is going on there? That's Whoa. really interesting. <laughs> that's, some, that's some cool art there. Yeah, it is. Really cool. We have Ninjak versus Valiant Universe. Monstro Mechanica, number two. Minky Woodcock, the girl who handcuffed Houdini, number two. The Mighty Crusaders, number two. The Hero Defined, Mage, Volume 3, by Matt Wagner. Jack Campbell's The Lost Fleet, Course Air, number 5. Kingsman, The Red Diamond. This was a movie which I actually haven't seen, but people said it was really good. Hmm, yeah. I am not familiar with it. Me neither. We also have Judas, number 2, of 4. Hellboy and the BPRD, 1954, Volume 1. Headlopper. <laughs> so um, some of you may have recalled that Headlopper actually was supposed to ship a couple weeks ago and there was a printing error. There was like one page got printed twice and some page was left out. So mm -hmm. for continuity and story, it didn't really, I mean, you could have figured it out, but they wanted to go back to print and make sure that it was right. So now this is the official release of Headlopper number eight. If you, you did not miss it the first time around. It is here now, and it is also Lane's Ooh. Pick of the Week. Oh, yes. Uh, and this, it's the, uh, I believe it is the wrap-up to this storyline. This is it. It's the last part. Of the Crimson Tower. so good. Ooh. So good. We also have Harbinger Renegade, Volume 2. Hackslash versus Vampirella, number 4 of 5. Grass Kings, number 11. Yay! That book's really good, too. I'm hmm. digging that. Ghost Money, number 6 of 10. Fighting American, number four, as well as Deja Thoris, the introductory price 25 cent issue, Whoa, number zero. 25 cent. Deja Thoris is back. How should I love that? We also have Curse <gasps> Words. Yeah. Volume two, I love Curse Words. This book is so bonkers. It's, a good it's time. written by <laughs> Charles Soule with art by Ryan Brown of. Uh, God Hates Astronauts, oh, yes, yes, yes. which was completely bonkers, <laughs> oh, man. but it kind of just like went in a weird direction at the end, so having a different writer, I, this story is staying on track and is super good. Um, I still loved God Hates Astronauts, though, even though it 
kind of like meander there, but uh, I I really like it. I like Ryan Brown's art, Ryan Brown's art, and I love uh, I love the story. So fun. And Coyotes number three, Catalyst Prime XL Volume Two, which is number seven, Bloodshot Salvation number five. BSG versus BSG. In other words, Battlestar Galactica versus Battlestar Galactica. What? what? Number one. Interesting. <laughs> also, we have Barbarella number two. Barbarella. Did we miss anything in the top row? Oh. No, no. oh Let's go back and things. do the graphic novels. <laughs> <laughs> On our top shelf, we have Cowboy Ninja Viking, which is soon to be a major motion picture. Hmm. Wow. Oh. Descender Volume 5. Oh. oh, now I can catch up because I got behind. Um, another book by Jeff Lemire with art by Dustin Nguyen. Uh-huh, there it is. <laughs> I remembered how to pronounce his name. And all the way going oh, down. Oh, no. Well, let's, let's not make anyone dizzy here, of but course. look at all these graphic novels that we have. So many. Satellite Falling. Trade paperback. Yeah. There it is. Cool. Bloop. And then I think Big that back. wraps up our action adventure. That's all <laughs> Look at all these graphic novels. Look at all these comics. We've got comics. We've got comics. We've novels. got so many comics. <laughs> We've got so many comics that sometimes we have to blow them out on sale. And guess what? Here's the sale. 60% off all of these graphic novels. Come in and get them while they're hot. Get them while they're comics. These books are all five for a dollar. Woo! They're, look at how few we have left. They are going quick, folks. Yeah. Get in on the sale before they are all gone. Okay. In our reverse order, we are over here at our all-ages shelf. We have Over the Garden Wall, Volume 3 on the graphic novels. And down in the new comics, we got SpongeBob Comics, number 76. Scooby-Doo, Where Are You, number 89. And Rocco's Modern Life, (laughs) number 2. Any new kids graphic novels? Nope. That wraps it up. Oh, no, the Christmas tree is gone. gone. Boo. Christmas is over. Season. Over here on our YA shelf, we got a new YA graphic novel, The Dream of the Butterfly. This I looks, am not familiar with this at all. This looks very Miyazaki-esque to me. Oh, it, it looks does. really cool. I am interested in checking this out myself. Look at that beautiful art. Wow. And there's a kitty cat, too. <laughs> nice. Yay! Okay, and then for single issues on the Teen Rack, we got Royal Rumble Special 2018. Oh my god, that just reminded me that I had a dream that I was going to WrestleMania. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what a cool dream! dream. <laughs> I was like, what are you guys doing in town? We're going to WrestleMania! Awesome! <laughs> uh, Sherlock, The Great Game, number six of six. Which, for guys who, you guys who don't know, this is actually a manga-style comic, and I find that really cool, to be cool. honest. Isn't that interesting? And it's Sherlock, so it's going to be definitely a good time, and I love mystery. Do you? Oh, here's one of Shay's picks. Oh, that is one of my picks. Mech Cadet U. I love that book. It's a really good time. Definitely a boy and a robot in his robot story. It is awesome. If you guys have not checked it out yet, you definitely should. For sure. 10 out of 10. <laughs> so this week looks like we're getting number five of the single issue and the collected volume one, which is probably one through four. Mm-hmm. Since number five, I'll just hit the shelf. Yes. So you could catch up the whole entire story right here. Right in one now. fell swoop. <laughs> well, tomorrow. Yeah, right now. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Atlas and Axis? Yeah. That looks like a cute, fun book. Very comic strip reprinty to me. It's cute. To me, very, uh, like, European. Yeah, I like it. I wonder what it's about. I see two dogs. It looks like it's about some dogs going on an adventure, (laughs) walking around the woods. Sounds about right. (laughs) The Archie's guest starring the monkeys. I don't even know who those people are. You don't know who the monkeys are? No. Oh, no. (laughs) Shay, you make me feel so old. Uh, And Archie number 27. Yes. And that wraps it up for our YA show. Now we are moving on to Star Wars, a.k.a. Marvel, a.k.a. Star Wars. A.k.a. <laughs> Star Wars, Doc Vado, number 10. Star Wars, Forces of Destiny, Ray. These are going to be one-shots, so there's going to be like a Leia one, a Ray one. I think there's going to be like five of them. So check them out if you want to know more about your favorite female characters from Star Wars. Awesome. 
And that's it. Star Wars. <laughs> I've heard of this Star Wars. <laughs> I heard that it's pretty popular. Or the star. <laughs> it's a war <laughs> in the stars. <laughs> All right, moving on to Marvel. Oh. Michael Hilly. Backwards Day. Yes. Yeah, backwards day. <laughs> it is. It's just me and Shay, so we're doing things different. Oh, no yeah. one's here to tell us what to do. Switching it up. <laughs> Switching it up. <laughs> X Men Gold Annual number one. X Men Blue number nineteen. The Vision hardcover. Ooh. Not only is this a super cool cover, I love this like uh, flowcharty uh, electric tree Family. thing yeah, that's I happening like that. here. Um, it's also an Eisner Award winner. Mini uh, series, The Vision, that came out uh, a couple years ago from Marvel, written by Tom King, who is doing Batman mm -hmm. and, and Mr. Miracle. Mr. Miracle. And that, if you are fans of those series and have just discovered Tom King, we definitely recommend that you come back and check out The Vision. Great time. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's why. Uh, Venom number 160. Squirrel Girl, number 28. Spider-Man vs. Deadpool, number 26. Oldies, part one. How old they oh, are. Oh, no. <laughs> Deadpool has a beard and Spider-Man's in a wheelchair. What is what happening? Is, yeah. Up is down, left is right. I don't know what's going on. Let's not forget Old Man Logan, number 33. Yes. Oh, there's just some crazy smashing going on in here. She-Hulk, number 161. I feel very confused by this cover. I yeah, this is like a weird looking cover, but you know, it's... I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. We'll figure it out. Uh, She-Hulk Volume 2. Runaways, number 5. Phoenix Resurrection, number 3 of 5. Ms. Marvel, number 26. Also, The Punisher, up on our more mature, out of reach shelf, number 220. As Going back to that legacy Ooh. numbering. Ooh. Old man Hawkeye. What? Everybody's getting old this month. Look at him. <laughs> I don't know. He still looks pretty good. He's just got some gray hair. He's got like He the... looks good, yeah. He looks, kind of looks like a Santa, you know? He looks like a Santa. <laughs> He's a silver fox. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is Old Man Hawkeye number one. Uh, the Unbelievable Gwenpool number 24. Daredevil number 597. Mayor Fisk. <laughs> what? <laughs> Cable, number 153. Black Panther Prelude, Ooh. trade paperback. And burr, burr, da, da, Avengers, number 675, with a super fancy 3D lenticular cover. It's I'll turn it like this way. I don't know. Okay. Oh, look at that. I don't know if the viewers can, can catch that? it. I'll tell you, if you can't see the cool 3D action happening in this, uh, there's also some on the back because it's a wrap Ooh, around, then come in and see it in person, because I don't know if this live video is even doing this 3D justice. I personally, and this is just my personal opinion, this is the best Marvel lenticular cover they've done so far with their legacy lenticular mm. covers. I really dig this. I think it turned out really good. It and, nice. yeah, and you can, you can be a <laughs> DJ. <laughs> awesome. Always Ooh. got some recent back issues available. And then over here on DC, I'll tell you what, let's switch places so that oh, my arm doesn't... Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> we have Scooby Apocalypse, number 21. Wonder Woman, Swan Song, part one, number 38. Wildstorm, Michael Cray, number four. He's so cray cray. <laughs> <laughs> is, he, is he really? I hope so. <laughs> Titans, number 19. The Trial of Donna Troy. Ooh. Superwoman, number 18. Superman Action Comics 995. We're five issues away from a thousand. What? Oh my god. What? New Superman number 19. Supergirl number 17 with a cool art germ cover once again. I know. So pretty. So oh, and then. Oh, yeah. Not, I mean, the art's cool, but oh, there's terrible things happening. Yeah. Oh, you know what that looks like? Uh, Carrie. It's like a Carrie throwback. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Suicide Squad, number 33, The Chosen One, part one. And I just want to let people know that we were shorted one of our copies of Suicide, one of our covers of Suicide Squad. So while these may sell out really quick, uh, we'll get replacements of the other cover next week. So don't fret. But if you want to read it this week, come in and grab it before they're gone. Mm -hmm. Red Hood and the Outlaws, number 18. Ragman, number four of six. 
<gasps> Mr. Miracle number six of 12. And then Mr. Miracle again. And I also wanted to point out that this is uh, the halfway point for this story. And after this issue comes out, they're going to take a two-month hiatus mm. in which a, a special will come out mm -hmm. in the hiatus, but number seven won't be out for a couple months. Mm -hmm. So uh, get your Tom King fix in yeah. with the Vision hardcover. It's real good. <laughs> <laughs> Justice League of America, number 22. Harley Quinn, be careful what you wish for. As you can see, this is a one-shot. Get it? Uh, <laughs> womp, womp. Plus she's got like an I Dream a Genie uh, That's bottle. You know who I Dream a Genie is? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Harley Quinn, number 34. Harley Quinn, volume 4, DC oh, Universe. This one looks like it's got a different cover too. Oh, it does. Ooh. Oh, that's the uh, Amanda Connor. Amanda Connor cover. And then... Isn't that as well? As the... oh, oh, that's pretty. I like that. That's cool. They're both pretty nice. Hmm. Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, number 36. Gotham City Garage, number 7. On our top shelf, we have Black Lightning, year one. That was last week. Oh, oh wait. No, no, the trade paper. Right. Sorry, you were playing. No, that's okay. <laughs> All right, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Black Lightning, year one. <laughs> as well as... Just don't tell Dan that we messed up, because he'll, uh, he'll never leave us alone again. Okay. No, I'm, I'm not telling you. I'm telling the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> it's just our secret. <laughs> <laughs> the Flash, number 38. Dead Man, number 3 of 6. DC Universe Rebirth, Batman Beyond, Volume 2. Batman, Detective Comics, 972. And last, but certainly not least, Batgirl, Birds of Prey, Eco Deadly, number 18. Woo! Woo! That looks like all the new comics. Also, we still got the January previews available for you to check out. Um, you can even just check it out here if you're interested in seeing what's coming up for comics. Always the opportunity to uh, add it to your subscription, pre-order, reserve books that are coming out that you think are going to be... Uh, Something that you're interested in and you're worried about it selling out. And also, this cool she wants to point out this pin. really cool monstrous pin. It's from Monsters. If you guys haven't checked out the series yet, you definitely should. It is a good time. Beautiful art. Amazing story. I cannot stress how beautiful that book is. And the story is also good. And there's a lot of cats, which, you know. And cats. You know, that's a plus for me. Let but me check it out. Aww. He looks kind of angry. He does. He's kind of grumpy like Grumpy Cat. Well, he's a cat, so. Well, you know, yeah. cats can get grumpy, too, sometimes. And also, in case you haven't seen, we do have a really cool growing selection of enamel pins. We got some locally produced ones, as well as some other cool ones. They, they tend to come in and out really quick, so the display is always changing. And we have green brain enamel pins. How cool is that? Get your green brain fix on. Oh, yeah. And games, games, games. Look at all those games. How many games? All right. <laughs> so thank you for watching. I hope you uh, saw some cool comics that you're interested in, and we hope to see you tomorrow. Happy Wednesday! Happy Wednesday!